am, I am, I am, I am. Being there, Charlie, man, and y'all back on to me, the one and only, the official, the real, not the fake, not the, know what I mean? It's me. Being there, Charlie, man, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for me, man, and don't forget to donate the cash tag, being there, Charlie. I thank y'all for tuning in. I appreciate all the fans and all the people that show me love. One and only, I love you. I love everybody out there. And for all you other YouTubers that got shots and want to send shots, uh, shut up, because I am. I ain't like you other YouTube niggas. You know what I'm saying? Don't mean you put that Nipsey Hustle on. You did? I ain't like you other niggas, man. I'm official and real tissue. You did? But anyway, let's get into it, man. Woo, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a touchy one. But I got to let the real be the real and let the facts be the facts, man. And we're going to talk about it, man. Everybody keep coming to me and bossing me. Rizzo, Rizzo this, Rizzo that, Rizzo. What's going on with him? What's, what, what? This is the thing I've been saying from the jump street. I done done these videos already. But let's get more into it and why I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's being put in the dark that's not being talked about. For instance, the incident that happened at the BET Awards when he slapped that guy. Why we never could ever get information on who that individual was. And let's move forward. Let's do Rizzo Islam, right? Now, my thing is this, man. Yes, he did have a lot of information that the public did not know at all. He knew a lot of things that we didn't know at all. And as we found out, young Pharaoh pulled his card and started giving out a lot of details about his court cases and things of that nature. So a lot of people was, was saying that maybe he had some involvement in it because he was trying to cut a deal or something. Now, my thing is this, right? I be feeling like they was trying to use him for like a cleanup, man, because my thing is how did he know all this information, man? He knew a lot of information that wasn't out to the public yet. And my thing is, like, who was he, was he tapping into? Or did he talk to Eric Holder prior to this situation happening? Or did he know the girl bad or whatever the case may be? Was he, like, was was that was that involved? Can you think about this now? As we investigate this case and as we dig deep, all the YouTubers out there that's digging deep into this case, what is we keep learning about it? As I broke it down on my live, what is the thing that we notice about each individual that's involved that's keep doing with being a witness and supposed to be doing testimony? Why is Rizzer transcripts not of it? Why is he not as a witness? Because I'm trying to figure out a person that knew that he <laughs> listen to this. And I and I don't mean no disrespect when I say that. But Rizzo Islam seemed more clear than Cowboy when he was on the stand. The cowboy like, oh, the man's shirt was was they laid ass him, was your shirt was his shirt green? Did he have a shirt on, Cowboy? Um, uh, maybe, maybe not. How you know it was him, cowboy? Uh, because I know how he walked. Like, bro, like, how can you go in a courtroom and not have accurate information? This is your man that just passed away. Somebody that you looked at as a younger brother, that you respected, that you worked for in the company, Marathon Store and the other stores in the, in the area. How can you come to the courtroom and not be prepared? You know what I'm saying? Now, as we went through the transcripts, we already done it already. We seen that Cowboy was all over the place. And let's get it. Like, Rizzo Islam got, got on, that, uh, on that video, and he had so much information for a person to say he wasn't there or what was going on. It sound kind of crazy because he sound more clear than Cowboy. As a right or a wrong. Because he came on that camera, he had four shots to the body. Whoop, 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 whoop. He knew everything, and we were sitting out like, when I first heard it, I'm like, that's strange because cowboy stories wasn't as clear as, as Rizzo Islam. So like I said, people putting pressure on, on him and he know what it is. That's why he jumped on homeboy live and called up because he trying to clear the air. Because they putting pressure on him, bro. You did what I'm saying? So it's like anybody with eyes or with a brain or with ears that can hear and understand and analyze things, something is not right. And we've been saying this from Jump Street. And w w let's 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 peel the tape back a little bit more, and let's go. Let's get into uh, Kerry Lintham. Now this guy right here, you know what I'm saying? And I this is why I keep saying why people keep aiming at Big U is because the characters of the people that's connected to Big U, far as Kerry Lintham, are not being 100% honest, and they're not being truthful. And what it do, it make Big U look bad because it's like, oh, you taking up for this individual, and he purity lying every time he get on camera. You see what I'm saying? So he's lying every time. And Cowboy changes the story. And he can't even tell you what's clear, what's not clear. 
You know what I'm saying? So like I said, if you're going to be a street guy or you're going to be a regular citizen. And in this situation, I feel like people are trying to play both sides. And the fact of the matter is, like, as the case going on, you got to ask yourself, is you helping Nipsey Hussle and his family to get this guy to go down? Or is you making the situation better for him? And as I went over this before, it's like, y'all are tainting everything. Like, cowboy whole statement you can't use. You cannot use Carrie Lincoln's statement at all. Why? How can you use somebody's statement that have been lying the whole entire time? Bro, that, K Carrie Lincoln said that. This is the story that he told us, ladies and gentlemen. He said that he went in the store, tried to find a shirt, and he came outside to talk to Nip about it. But to say he didn't do that, he just walked up to Nip, it, go to the, it goes back to why people kept accusing uh, a, a big you. Because now they feel like, oh, dang. So he really didn't ever go in the store. That, that's why they're going at Big U now. You feel me? So this is why everybody, don't, they, they keep putting his name in it because the people that he's connecting to are not telling the truth. So it's a reflection of him. Basically because he's taking up for him. You see what I'm saying? So that's why they're aiming at him. And then RZA, RZA, we know for a fact he had a case coming up. So we like, hold up. Is this all a conspiracy thing in, in the mix of this? Because it's like, how can a man just come out of nowhere and tell us so much stuff that we didn't even know about the base, about this, all this military stuff. It's like, bro, wh wh <laughs> like, wh where did you get this from? Like, where did you hear this from? Or I, I just like everything about his, what he was saying in the video, man, was crazy to me. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like uh, when you when you peel back the tape, it's like, why is he not being... Why is, why is he not in the courtroom? He need to be in the courtroom for something because he knew more of the cowboy now. Now, we, like I said, you look at cowboy joint and he like, they asking him questions like, oh, so what color did, uh, what kind of do-rag did Nipsey Hussle have on? Black, uh, blue, green. It's like, bro, that's your man's. How you not know what color he had on in a, in a situation that serious? Like, how can you not know the details? There's no way of not watching that tape over and over or going over this evidence. It's like, come on, man. You was there. You see what I'm saying? I feel like this like, like this is why everybody keeps saying there's a lot of snakes that was amongst Nipsey Hussle in this situation is because like when they go in the courtroom and you look at all these people making these statements when the girl saying that she didn't know this dude was going to do this or that, the man got two guns and all of this. How how you not know that he, what he was about to do? Then you come back and say, I knew he was going to do a drive-by. It's like how many times people going to keep changing their story? You know what I'm saying? Like I keep telling you, everybody say they're not going to snitch. They ain't going to be no snitch. They ain't going to be no teller-teller. But my thing is this. If you want, you can't play both sides. Either you with Nip or you ain't going to get with Nip. And as we can see, people trying to play both sides, they want to be this gangster. And then they want to be the teller-teller. It's like you got to be one or the other. You will be a regular citizen or you going to be, you know what I mean? But like I keep saying, my thing is this. I feel like, just to be real. RZA knew a lot more than Cowboy and everybody else. You feel what I'm saying? Now, everybody is accusing him of being involved and feeling like he played a part in the situation and they using him as some type of cleanup guy. And they feel like that it, it's getting real touchy because they seeing the statements that Cowboy is making and linked them. And they like, if you're going to have a reliable source, why is this man in the courtroom? If he stand for anything, he would stand for something. And if he really respect Nip and he really had that love for him, why he ain't there talking? Because he knew more than Larry Black. You know what I'm saying? Evidently. You know what I'm saying? He knew true to the... How could he even know that, though? That's the thing that I'm trying to figure out. And it to be accurate, though. You see what I'm saying? That's what scary thing is like. Is you psychic or was you involved? Like, how, nigga, how, 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 how you know all of that, man? Where you get that from? And my question is, who told you that? If that was the case. Now, who, 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 who told you what, what, what it was, man? Because last time I checked, wasn't nobody around when it was going on. They was scattering. When the first couple of shots let off, they were gone. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Something behind all of that. And if I got to keep saying, man, why they flaming Big U and, and Kerry and all of them? Because of the lies, bro. Like I got to stay if you're going to stand for something. You got to be you gotta be an honorable person. And that's why they coming at him. Like I said, you can't say Big U say anything that was a lie because you can't prove it. But Latham has told a lot of lies that he's been raising a lot of money that a lot of people regret giving up because they feel like it was something went right with him. You feel what I'm saying? Especially if a person going to come out and keep telling lies. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's really dishonorable and just dis despicable. You feel me? 
But like I say, man, Rizzy Islam is definitely under fire right now. A lot of pressure is on him, man. And everybody want to know, where, does he get, where did he get his information from? And did he have a conversation with Eric Holder or any of the girls or anything that was going on? Because it, it just seemed a little fishy and weird, man. Now, we heard word on the street, but God dang, man. The Amalamp, everybody's still out there joking. He was on camp. Like, come on, man. You feel me? But I'm out, man. Being there, Charlie. Catch that. Being there, Charlie. Put your donations in, man. Show love. Much respect, man. Love y'all.